Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? So this is my hair before I've showered and I want to show you guys kind of what my hair looks like now because I am going to uh, show you today how I style uh, how I style my hair. So I did put some oil in my hair, went out for a walk and I put a little bit of styling oil. So I didn't do any deep conditioning oil treatment or anything like that. I am kind of looking into uh, possibly doing some stuff like that um in the near future but uh, as of right now i have not so usually my hair i shower at night and my hair gets frizzier the next day like when i wake up in the morning it's usually a little bit frizzier i do have uh satin pillowcases um so my hair and my hair still does get kind of frizzy it like dries out a little bit i don't know maybe it's maybe i have like a i have like a throw pillow that's kind of furry actually I have it right here that's kind of like fluffy like this and I do kind of rest my head on that so maybe that has something to do with that but uh anyway um yeah so I just wanted to show you what my hair looks like right now before I shower and it's not too bad if I really brushed I mean if I brushed it out it's not tangly but if I brushed it out actually let me try that real quick all right have my handy dandy brush this brush is actually one of my favorite brushes this is a wet brush for men, and it doesn't say for men on it, but um, it said it on the packaging, and that's kind of why I got it. I just got it at, like, a TJ Maxx. Um, anyway, so I am just going to brush my hair out to kind of show you um, what it looks like. All right, so... These are the ends of my hair. As you can see, that oil does help to put some shine into my hair. The ends are still maybe a little bit dry. Bro. Actually, I feel like that looks pretty good. I feel like that looks, um, I'll show you what oil and stuff I use, but I was intending to show you my hair looking a little bit frizzier, but actually I think it looks, looks kind of all right now, but I am going to get my shower and wanted to show you the before and then I'm going to show you what products I use and just kind of what I do. It's simple, but anyway, so here is what my hair looks like before. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm out of the shower and I tried to do as little as possible to my hair um, aside from just towel drying it. I haven't even brushed it out. So um, this is the, I'm going to show you the shampoo and conditioner that I use. This is the shampoo. Uh, this is Redken. This is the Extreme Length Shampoo, uh, and then I have the conditioner that goes with it. Redken has another uh, line called Extreme. It's in more of a dark blue. This one is in more of the teal. I kind of like this one. Um, I've just I've been using this. I actually have the big liter, or two liter, or whatever it is, but I bought these first. And anyway, keeping these as travel size ones to use. Can't take them on airport and airport or in airplanes. You know what I mean? Cause they're bigger than three ounce. But anyway, so. Shampoo, conditioner, uh, that's what I use in my hair. And then I don't have any products in my hair right now, but what I use is these two things. So this is the leave-in treatment that goes with it, extreme length uh, sealer. This helps seal split ends. Now, my hair does have some bleach in it. Right now it looks dark because it's wet, but um, I haven't bleached my hair for a long time or put any highlights in my hair for a long time. It's been over a year, I think maybe even over a year and a half, but anyway, I still have some of that in there and um, I use this to keep my hair healthy. So I use a little bit of this. There is a such thing as over protonizing the hair. I don't think that an over the counter product would do it, but don't hold me to that. But anyway, I use about this much. Sometimes I use a little bit more, bro, <laughs> knocking off my camera stand. Uh, roughly about that much. If you have thicker hair, longer hair, you might need a little bit more. And then I don't even think you have to shake this, but this is another Redken product. Uh, this is All Soft Argon Oil. It's called Argan, Argon, or Argan, I don't know, six. Anyway, I don't know if that means anything, but that, this I use a little bit, like, can you see? Here, I'll show you. Probably about, about that much, give or take, give or take. Doesn't have to be exact and then my hair is fine texture so it's pretty easy for me to get this all in my hair in one go as you can see when my hair is wet it doesn't look as thick as it necessarily does when it's dry 
And then I mainly just focus this on the ends of my hair. I have a little left over. I do kind of, I probably shouldn't do this, but I do kind of put a little bit on the top, roughly, uh, just to kind of help smooth out any frizzy. Sometimes I'll brush my hair before I put this on. Sometimes I'll put this on and it'll help me brush out my hair. Uh, but that's it. That is it. Um, this is just my simple, simple hair care routine. You know, keep it pretty simple. I usually part my hair um, somewhere on this side. I don't have like an exact part on this side, but pretty much always parts on this side. Did try switching my part recently and it's tough. Uh, anyway, I think it looks better parted on this side. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to put just a little more oil. I've just kind of been into this oil lately. So I'm going to put on just a little bit more oil. Bro. I feel like that chef that's like getting just like a pinch of salt or whatever. I don't even know. So roughly about this much. You can put, I sometimes put this on my hair dry. Um, I can put this on my hair wet or dry. I don't need to like work it in my hands that much, but... I almost just very, I try to evenly disperse it, and then I'm probably squeezing product out, but just trying to squeeze the water out. Usually I'm like, bro, I just drifted on my pajama shorts. Um, that's basically it, and then let my hair air dry. I try not to towel dry it a whole lot after I put this product in. Sometimes I'll towel dry it maybe a little bit more than I did tonight. But, um, you know, sometimes when you're showing someone something, you kind of, you know, I don't know, do a little different just because you're trying to think about what you're showing and you're not on your normal autopilot. But anyway, that's basically what I do. Kind of shake it out. So even just shaking my hair out like that uh, helps it look a little bit thicker. But that's it. I let my hair air dry um, for the most part. And then I will I will be back and I'll show you guys what my hair looks like after it's uh, completely dry or almost dry because I think it looks pretty cool once it's, you'll see. Anyway, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and my hair is 90, about 95% dry and I was gonna wait for it to be 100% dry, but I think you'll kind of be able to get the idea. So this is what it looks like after it's dried with the product in it. And this brush, I think this, yeah, this is the same one. One of the ones I showed you earlier. Um, yeah, I didn't put any other product in my hair aside from what I showed you guys and put in. And then I just let my hair air dry. Sometimes I will tie my hair back in kind of a, not always a super tight, but I'll kind of tie it back into a man bun. Um, Cause that does kind of help generate a little bit more wave, but this is kind of all my natural wave. If I really wanted to scrunch it up big time, not big time, but if I really wanted to scrunch it up, then I definitely could, but um, it's a lot of work. Not a lot of work, but it's work, and I don't always feel like the result pays off 100% of the time. So anyway, um, for me at least, and my, my hair texture, but uh, if it paid off, then anyway, but also I kind of like my hair a little bit straighter because then I can brush my hair. I am brushing my hair a lot, like I'm brushing not just my hair, but my scalp. Uh, to help generate hair growth and um, you know help kind of stimulate the root a little bit it's something I do um, on a on a daily basis you know I'll even take the brush back and just really feel it on my scalp these bristles though uh, you can see my hair in there has a uh, they have like little balls on the ends and this this wet brush I have another wet brush that feels a little bit weaker but this one in particular is pretty good it's pretty strong but it feels good but Anyway, this is not exactly about the brush, but this is more about my uh, hair care routine. So yeah, this is pretty much my favorite when my hair looks, when it's fresh and clean and it's just freshly dried and it's a little bit wet. So it will probably maybe get a little bit more body once it completely dries. But Yeah, so just wanted to show you guys. Um, anyway, all right, well, that's what I got. Uh, hopefully this helped, just kind of showing you a quick, my quick hair care routine, you know, easy, super simple, and that's what I got. So thank you guys so much for watching and keep the comments and the video ideas, uh, suggestions going, and I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. All right, until next time.
All right, so I was watching the footage back and my hair dried a little bit more. It is, technically it's not 100% dry, but I wanted to show you guys it right now so that way you know it's not greasy or anything. Still like maybe like 5% moisture content in my hair. But anyway, so you can see, even with the oil, it still has pretty good body. Uh, that cat leave-in treatment that I use helps kind of, it actually, you would think a repair thing would weigh your hair down, or at least that was at one time a, kind of a common thought, but no, it actually, this one in particular helps give my hair some body. Um, I feel like kind of adds to it. So that, and then the oil, I really, I mean, you can see that shine. A lot of that is from a lot of it's from that oil. Uh, that's pretty good oil. You can use that in wet or dry hair. And um, anyway, I'm not like selling it or anything like that. I, I wish, right? But uh, no, actually, probably probably if I was like sponsored and I tried to sell something, I like I sometimes I feel like I can't sell something if you held a gun in my head. But anyway, um, yeah, no, just what I'm doing. And uh, anyway, so all right, I will I will end this here. Thank you guys again. Have a good day.